Hi guys, good afternoon. It has taken me four countries to get to where I need to be now, but I tell you what, it was worth the wait. It looks so good here. Yeah, look at those mountains behind me, it's incredible. I can't believe those things are real. So yeah, I'll show you some forward shots now. The mountains just completely surround the area. It looks so good. It just feels like, I don't know, almost isolated. I don't know what it is, but I love it. But anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, if you are new around here, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button. There is still one more pre-season match in Austria after this, and bear in mind, we haven't even gotten to Portugal yet. So plenty more content on the channel. But today, this is the smallest stadium. I'm not even going to call it a stadium because I think that's giving it too much credit. The smallest venue you ever watching Castaneda play in today. 1,000 people will watch this game live. It is what? A 1,000 seater venue, it's ridiculous. The smallest you will ever see the Castaneda play in. And the reason for that being is because obviously the team just wanted to be in the area for a week. Especially for training, for example, they've got a higher altitude training session, it's going to be a lot harder for them. And when they're not training, they've just got a better chance to sort of relax and do their own thing, as you saw in the media team with their go kart and so They've been up to all sorts, and just like myself, I've been up to all sorts as well. Cheers. I think I owe myself this one, to be honest. Four countries in the last 24 hours. I have not slept at all. Newcastle was the last place where I laid my head. And yeah, I'm sat outside the Kaiser County, enjoying the warm weather, surrounded by a crap ton of mountains. Half an hour walk away from the stadium. I've seen it on the train, it, it's so small. But yeah, half an hour away from the venue for today's match. Life is good. You can't stay up playing. I can't wait. We've got separate sections on here for the fans. The fans will actually be sat away for this game. So Newcastle fans were down there. This has to have one of the weirdest stadium layouts I've ever seen. So up there is the guy from Sky Sports right there. That's the stadium. There's a children's playground next to the stadium. We've got a, a bar over there. That's somebody's house. I can actually look into the stadium. I don't know what's going on here. It's such a weird layout. I think the players are supposed to go up there and turn right to go straight through the gates. It's so confusing. You can actually watch the game for free, guys. And currently in the bar, there's an open bar. You can come in and look, you've got a full view of the pitch. In fact, the view in the bar is probably better than what it is in that stand. There we are, guys. Both the team buses are right. Munich's is by far better than Newcastle's. I, mean, I thought Newcastle being that double-decker one down, but it wasn't the be. But yeah, that's how both the coaches are going in. Yeah, we are waiting at the away ground entrance now. I can't believe the ground entrance is some gate. I've seen it all like. I don't know who's in control of the match here, guys, but Newcastle fans at the stand one way and the Munich fans are all waiting as well, even though they've let about 200 people in the main entrance anyway. So I, I don't get what's going on here. Yeah, but no, no one, uh, football, not the only one. So right. I'm really crossing my fingers to <laughs> maybe one day. Nice lovely to meet you. I saw in the video before Eddie Howe come down the bicycle signed his shirt for you. How would that feel? <laughs> it was pretty amazing. We were just uh, going down to the city and then the whole trainer yeah, all team the... came on bicycles. <laughs> so I stopped him and said, oh, Eddie, Eddie. He was really nice. Stopped up. Stopped on uh, Yeah, he's lovely, Eddie. I remember saying when he's first day in Newcastle, oh, he's, yeah. he's a lovely bloke. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I know, shirt. Yeah, guys, the match hasn't even kicked off yet and having such a good time. <laughs> Eddie Howe's riding his bike around, man. What's even going on in Austria? We've got so many fans of both clubs enjoying it. I tell you now, this is easy, one of my favourite games, and the match hasn't even begun yet. Uh, honestly, you just don't get an experience like this in the Premier League. Everyone's enjoying themselves, everyone's just. I don't know, everyone, no one cares, everyone's just doing what they wanted to, good. So both the teams are out now, Newcastle versus 1860 Munich now. Newcastle's line is really good, I'm quite impressed with the lineup. we are not messing around at all. Scoreline, I'm going to be honest, I'm expecting us to score these four. Uh, we've got to remember this is a team that's in the, the third league of German football, which is really poor standing. That'll be fair, in six Munich, about seven years ago in the Bundesliga, so I don't know what exactly has went wrong for them, but... A lot's went wrong and now Newcastle have just got to take advantage of it. This should be a comfortable game, especially how high intensity our training sessions have been. But, our lads, let's get out there and let's show them who's boss. There it is, half-time, no, no. 
pretty bad for Newcastle, I'm not going to lie. I think especially in the final third, there's no end product or there's anything going forward. Every time we get the ball, it's so wasteful. We're constantly putting out a play. I've seen some match from Eddie Anderson have the ball out of play about 25 times. Every single ball is going nowhere near him. And I think the chances we do get making the wrong decisions at the pro across the wall, we should have shot instead of passing it back. I mean, someone feels off in Newcastle. Yeah, I tell you what, the Munich, I think, had a really good game. We've had, we've created quite a lot of chances and ultimately, they probably should have scored one of them. Uh, Newcastle, I think, we've been second best so far. It's not a, a terrible performance, but it's not really inspiring either. It's just flat. There's nothing to it. We need to get the subs on. We need to be a bit more aggressive because so far, uh, I think we've been second best, to be honest. Much better for Newcastle. Yeah, I go for Shelby. Go on. Wunnick. Yes! Get in there. There we are, 1 0 Joe Warwick. Really good goal that show me the way he played it back. He's never going to miss that one, Warwick. Finally, Newcastle have done so. Much better to start the second half. First 10 minutes have been all over them. 2 0 now with Sean Longstaff at time. Really good finish there. We're starting to slowly pick apart Munich now. But yeah, uh, really good goal. Newcastle, much better. It's 3 0 now. We are just destroying them. Bruno, 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 Bruno. Old time for Reno at Newcastle. I'll definitely take that like. Well Keep us off on the bike, guys. <laughs> it's just mad seeing them just do up on the bike, but I. Gillespie and Dollar are both out. Uh, thank you. Quite sad to see all the kids want to see Matt in there instead of going to see Dan Byrne, he's one of our own. Say no autographs now. Uh, we'll catch the last couple of players come out here, guys. I managed to get a few in the end, to be fair, but when you get quite a lot of tourists coming, I mean, yes, yeah, player safety coming first. There he is. I was the first one to get four on the back of the shirt. Yeah, here's the final player, Bruno. What a guy. Oh, it's the cut off in Switzerland as well, they deserve it. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching. Now the reason why I actually take videos of the players and the come out is because I'm awful at taking selfies, I'm really bad. So when I take a video like that, I know at some point in that video I can screenshot and that should be a good looking picture. But yeah, that's essentially it. My selfies are terrible, so I don't take any chances anymore. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that down below. Do you agree with the, obviously, the player has been taught not to sign the autographs at the end. Uh, personally, for me, I didn't think there was any health and safety hazards, but all it takes is that one.
fan that takes a tune for them, boom, out of nowhere. But yeah, I'm not complaining. I got some I never had before. Trippier, I never had him before. I was buzzing he came over. But yeah, Bruno and Botman still had those two. Yeah, and Callum Wilson saw those three, actually. By the way, guys, take care. Big win there. Massive fan of that. But yeah, plenty more days in Austria, though, so don't you get all sad now. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one.